Martha. Welcome back. Starting off our weather cast with a spectacular viewer photo. Steve setting this in. Now this is the overlook at Harris Hill. Now we all know we had that dense fog from earlier this morning. Up on Harris Hill, it was bright sunshine. You can see as you look down over the edge here, just a thick blanket of fog. So uh, elevation there, 17, 1800 feet, just high enough to get out of that fog bank, but uh, quite an impressive shot, especially with all the blue sky there earlier this morning if you were out of the fog. Looks like it could be a similar scenario tomorrow morning with more valley fog likely as temperatures tonight drop off into the lower 40s. Sun and clouds for our Friday. Another beautiful day with temperatures into the mid 70s and then showers. Pretty good bet Saturday. Cooler weather will follow for Sunday. Fall foliage report. Uh, well, about halfway to peak across good section of the viewing area right now or just a little bit beyond that in some of the higher elevations, but up towards the Adirondacks and Catskills near peak color already in those locations. So I think just a little bit behind schedule this year. Here comes that cold front pushing in from the west. Now we're still dry tomorrow, but as we go through the day, uh, well, I should say late tomorrow night and uh, early Saturday, that's when the front comes through. So pretty good chance for rain here in the Twin Tiers. We're thinking about a quarter of an inch to a third of an inch of rain as the front moves through. No rain nearby, though. Uh, you have to head back to the Great Lakes to get in on some of those showers and even some snow showers here over the northern plains here in that pocket of cool air settling south out of Canada. Now it will turn cooler here in the Twin Tiers for the second half of the weekend, but not cold enough for any snow. Here's Matthew. You can clearly pick out the eye here. Category 4 hurricane affecting the northwestern Bahamas right now. Unfortunately, still drifting off towards the north and west and heading towards the east coast of Florida, expecting deteriorating conditions overnight tonight and through the day tomorrow up and down the northern half of the Florida coast. And then it'll curve across the Carolina coast here as we go into the weekend and then actually back out to sea and could end up where it started here over the Bahamas by the time we get into Tuesday of next week, but only a tropical storm by then. Back home here in the Twin Tiers, temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s, 76 at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. So again, a very pleasant evening all across the Twin Tiers. Future track here showing dry conditions tonight, but could see some locally dense valley fog once again after midnight tonight. For tomorrow, the fog burns off. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds. Showers should hold off, though, until after midnight tomorrow night. Then it looks like a wet morning Saturday and then a gradual improvement from west to east here as we go through Saturday afternoon and could look at about a third of an inch of rainfall. 75 is what we forecast today. 76, the unofficial high. 42 with clear skies tonight. Areas of fog developing. 76 with a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. First warning, 70 forecast showing a wet day Saturday, but beyond that, Looking like a dry stretch of weather for much of next week with temperatures back into the 70s by Wednesday. And our very own Ryan Bells out in the community earlier today. He was at uh, Penny's Daycare in Tioga, Pennsylvania, teaching these preschoolers all about weather. And from what I hear, a couple of meteorologists in the making.